Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I am high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee was. For this particular footage is going to be a character who has full access over infinite realities. Her name is Cosmic. K-O-Z. M I K. And if you guys could bear with me, I'm going to read an introductory for her, and hopefully it would be satisfactory on your guys' behalf. So just try your best to listen with me, you know? Just try your best. Cosmic, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 22nd, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling to Alaska until we start obser observing a small Alaskan house made of wood and concrete. As we look inside, we start seeing a married couple tormenting one of their daughters. This story is about that girl. Her name is Pamela Simons. From the day she was born, her parents were treating her like a disgrace, while at the same time praising her younger sister, Carla two of which we will learn more about in a future story. Due to this unorthodox treatment, Pamela was taken to an orphanage in Seattle, where she grew up without ever learning any sense of compassion. By the present day, Pamela has grayish blue eyes with glasses, brown hair with a bun at the back, and is dressed in political clothes of her style. She attempted to be the latest president in the United States, but due to her stubborn personality, she was rejected by 47 states. Soon, Pamela learned about the reputation and skills at Zielatek Labs and decided to visit the notorious Gigantica. While there, Ziella made her a two and a half inch long test tube with a mysterious purple liquid that tasted and smelled horrible. <sighs> How can you even drink this stuff? Pamela asked in a disgusted tone. It's the best I could figure out for you. Drink it and you'll be fused with immense cosmic power. Pamela then drank it and nearly vomited. And from that moment, she started glowing purple for a few seconds until it faded. Okay. I hope it worked, Pamela stated. She soon found that her cosmic powers even rivaled that of the Alpha Gods themselves. Thank you, Ziella. I really appreciate this transformation, she said as she left the building with a smirk. Eventually, she grew to a planetary size and announced to Earth, Beware of me, humans. I am cosmic. With my immense power, I shall become the ruler of the entire Leviathan universe. Soon, Gigantica became equal size as Cosmic and said, You set me up. Why the blazes would you even do that? Pamela then admitted, Come on, Ziella. From the moment I was born, my parents treated me like sewage until I was taken to an orphanage. They never taught me any sense of morality. Not that I cared anyway. Now step aside before you get hurt. At that moment, Ziella snapped and started wrestling her in space. After a few hours of wrestling each other, Gigantica constructed a portal and kicked her tyrannical opponent through it. Finally, she's been taken care of, she said to herself as she traveled back to her facility on Earth. Somewhere, outside of time and space, beyond the cosmos, and beyond the home of the Alpha Gods, Cosmic awoke and found that she's now in a futuristic room with an unearthly monitor, a sleek couch for three, a queen-size bed, and a formal desk with no drawers and a swivel chair. After giving herself an understanding of the room with her powers, Cosmic revealed, This place shall be the headquarters of all the universal dimensions. While here... I'll create an endless number of realities and infinite incarnations of the Leviathan universe. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the residents of New York City realize that there's a vast pair of eyes in the sky. Turned out, Cosmic expanded to a massive size and completely devoured the planet. Mm. 
That planet is so delicious. Too bad this isn't the default dimension. Ain't that right, audience? She said to us, breaking the fourth wall and officially showing her unthinkable power. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the footage. And if you guys want me to make some remastering of previous storylines and such with better comprehension and flow, just ask me. And if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice and such. And hope you guys enjoyed the footage and such. And until next time, hope you guys have a fine time and such. And transmission.